Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is a mixed media postcard and I'm working on a pre-gessoed piece of white cardstock and I'm applying some Paper Artsy fresco finish paint here in the colour chalk. Once I've done this, I spritz it with some water so that it stays wet for longer. And then I'm going to take some Brusho colours and add them. These are a watercolour dry pigment, so I've chosen two different colours in Prussian blue and crimson. After my postcard has dried, I'm going to add some stamping to it. I'm starting with a small dot stamp and I'm going to stamp this in archival ink in cobalt blue. Now I've chosen to add some further stamping. This is a script background by Indigo Blue and I'm going to stamp this in archival ink in plum. Next I'm taking a mushroom stamp, this is by Stampatique and I'm going to stamp this onto a lightweight cardstock using Versafine ink in onyx black. Once my ink has dried I've chosen three different shades of pearlescent watercolours, these are a combination of H2O's and cosmic shimmers and I'm going to paint my mushroom using all three of these colours. This is a stamp set by Carabelle Studio and I've chosen the hearts from this set, it is called Mini Textures and again I'm stamping onto lightweight cardstock using Versafine ink and I stamp the hearts three times. Once all my stamped elements have dried, I've cut them out and now I'm ready to start adding them to my postcard. First I'm going to create some ground for the mushrooms to stand on, so I'm using a combination of two archival links. The first here is French Ultramarine and then I add some of the coloured cornflower which is a slightly darker blue.
Having chose a quote for my postcard, I've printed this out on my Brother labelling machine, given it a coat of golden matte medium to prime it, and now I'm adding some archive link in French Ultramarine, and I'm applying this with a piece of cut and dry foam. Then I cut out the pieces on my trimmer and edge them with the plum archive link. This is a micron pen and I'm going to use this to add some strings to the hearts and I also add some further detail to the mushrooms, to the ground around the mushrooms and I outline my text also. Finally, I am edging my project using a piece of range cut and dry foam with the plum archiver link to frame the piece and then that is everything for today. So I hope you enjoyed this one, as always there is the link to the full product list in the video description and as a reminder the link to my Facebook mixed media challenge group is also there as well as my other social media sites. If you did enjoy it I do appreciate it when you hit the like button and leave me a comment and I will see you again next time.